I, I want to make sure that we have a chance to talk about the Equality Act. I want to make sure that you, you as an advocate um, and, and an activist, that we talk, we tell people what that is. Because part of our goal tonight is not just to change people's minds and hearts, that's important, but also to direct them on what they can do to support members of the Black community. So talk to us about the Equality Act. Oh, well, so if we think about the Equality Act and, and other pieces of legislation, multiple pieces of legislation that are all coming together for the LGBTQIA uh, equality, I, the, the thing that I think about before the Equality Act even is uh, gay panic laws that have been coming up lately, right? Where people are, uh, a gay panic law basically means if you are a heterosexual man and you are approached by a gay man and you wanna, you, you end up attacking him in a way that would be so much of a hate crime you were talking about in Georgia, um, the, you could then defend yourself in court if you killed or hurt him by saying like, oh, I went into a panic, right? And yeah. so that was, that is the, one of the things that immediately uh, con con continues to resonate in my mind, the idea that that was okay in the many places and still is in many places right now um, in, up until just last year, right? And so we still see that happening. When we think about the Equality Act, when we think about uh, the Supreme Court, these are all different pieces of legislation that are just asking for, for LGBTQIA people to just have equality, right? If we think about the, the movement for Black Lives right now, we're having a lot of conversation about uh, policing and you know many different things but ultimately at the core of it when we see those signs that say stop killing us that's really what it boils down to when we see those signs that say like when we hear see memes or or hear people talk on television like we just ask you to let us be equal right to just treat us e equally um, and we get so much backlash about it, right? The fact that we have to have this conversation and the fact that this conversation is a bit taboo for this audience, like that is really, really what we're talking to at the core of this, right? And so if we think about the Equality Act and how difficult it's been to try and get that passed um, and the fact that Republicans continue to uh, be resistant to things like this for, for black people, for brown people, but for LGBTQIA people specifically, um, that is what is really frustrating because we want to be able to live our lives. We want to like gay rights and, and LGBTQIA rights did not stop at marriage, right? That we saw the Supreme Court just recently come out and say that, you know, you can't be fired from your job because of your gender identity or your sexuality. It's all of these kinds of things. It's the Equality Act. It's gay panic laws. It's, so, it's, so sorry, Jerry, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, but please no, forgive no. me. But I'm, t just tell everybody what the Equality Act is, its content. So, because so, a lot of people don't know what it is. So, so yes. what, what is it in, in the literal sense? So the Equality Act specifically, and I, this is something that I don't study, so I don't want to go into all kinds of, of the specifics, but the Equality Act really is uh, something that's in, I believe, the House that has gone through and has, uh, has been championed by a lot of the progressive Democrats in the House. And ultimately, it would provide consistent uh, non-discrimination protections for LGBTQ people across all kinds of different areas, um, including employment and housing and a right to life and all of those different things. And so it's something that has to be approved by the Senate, which we all know, like, <laughs> the joke is like, it's an act of Congress, right? Like, it's literally an act of Congress <laughs> to be able to get something like that passed. Um, and so it is it is a piece of legislation that is uh, technically still a bill um, that we are hoping to see, you know, become law. Yeah, no. First, thank you for that, because I want, I, want, I want people tonight who are watching, being transformed, or people who are already allies and stand in solidarity, to know what it is so, so that they can direct, so that we can direct our focus and our attention. Again, I think you said, I think you or Ryan said it earlier, not just on criminal justice reform, not just on defunding the police, but we need to pass the Equality Act to bring together all of the protections the LGBTQ people plus people, so that you don't have to piecemeal progress. You know, marriage over here, can't be fired over here, can't be kicked out of your house over here. Put it all together and let's make progress real. Um, Ryan, I mean, Jared, did I get that right? Did I get it right? Yes, absolutely. And I mean, I, I, kind of similarly to when we think about Black Lives Matter, it's, it's all about social justice and the criminal justice reform and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, 
but what about my right to have ideas? And what about my right to have, to live? What about my right to be able to, to choose a home where I want it to be or, or be able to go work where I want to go work or vacation where I want a vacation? What about my right to live, right? A right to life. And LGBTQIA people are, are, are fighting for that same thing. And so uh, the human rights campaign um, is the, the LGBTQIA policy arm, if you will. Um, and the, they've been really working hard on the LGBT, on the Equality Act. And it's just, it's about being able to have humanity, um, which is something that we shouldn't have to ask for, right?